Arnold is Maya's new preferred renderer. So let's take a look at how to render using Arnold. We're going to start off with lighting. Now, this is a basic scene and we already have some lights in it. So if I hop out to my four view, you'll see I have a point light here and a spotlight. And this is actually set up for a Maya software render. So if I go into render settings, you'll see my renderer is set to Maya software. So if I just do a quick render of the current frame, you'll see that I do get an image. Now, if I want to, I can just switch over to the Arnold renderer right here and just do another render. Now watch what happens when I do that. When I render this, it basically shows up black. Now it's not exactly black, it's just got very little light in it. And that's because lighting in Arnold is a little bit different than the standard Maya lighting model. So let's take a look at that and see how to set it up. So I've got two standard lights in the scene. I have this spotlight and I have the point light. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the spotlight and go into the attribute editor. And as you can see, this is basically just set up as a standard light. So I've got an intensity somewhere around one with no decay. And then all of my other effects are set up. Now in its default state, this light is not providing enough light to illuminate this scene. So what we have to do is go down to the Arnold tab and roll it out. And you'll see that the reason that this is happening is because we have a quadratic decay. So this light is falling off with the square of the distance. And the light was set up for a constant fall off. So that mismatch is what's causing the scene to come out dark. Now, typically in Arnold, you will want to use quadratic decay lights because they are more realistic. But let's go ahead and just set these to constant just to see how we get a render. So I'm gonna go ahead and select my spotlight, change it to constant, and now I'm gonna select my point light, scroll down to the Arnold tab, and change that to constant. So now I'm gonna highlight my perspective window and let's do another render. Now, as you can see with constant fall off, we are getting a more acceptable image. Now let's go through and actually do some more work on the lighting in this scene. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this spotlight here and I'm going to actually change the decay to quadratic and I'm going to do the same for the point light. Now, when you have quadratic fall off, the light will fall off with the square of the distance. And that means we need to bring up the intensity of this light a lot more. So if I scroll this up, you can see that it goes up to 10, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need more than that. So I'm gonna just type in a large number. I'm gonna type in a thousand. And then I'm going to go ahead and do another render. Now, as you can see, with a large value, we are getting light into the scene. And also notice how the light realistically falls off with distance. Now, if we want, we can go to a bigger value. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this. So let's go ahead and bring this up to say 4,000 and do another render. And here we have an image. So as you can see, the amount of light that you need will depend upon the light, its position, and how far away it is from the object. So when you start working with lights in Arnold, just remember that you do need to use the Arnold rollout to set up whether the light has a constant or quadratic falloff and adjust the light accordingly.